Editorial on Strategy of Cultural Change Winter 1969 Innovator by Rayo Libertarians who choose to secure their own liberty often find themselves accused of anti-intellectualism by other freedom advocates. The charge goes, Statism is basically an intellectual problem and requires an intellectual solution. Liberty cannot be achieved until popular attitudes become compatible with liberty. The way to gain liberty is not by opting out of society, but by disseminating rational ideas within the society. This criticism is rather beguiling because it is half true. Statism is indeed an intellectual problem and requires an intellectual solution, but statism is not exclusively intellectual. It is a symbiosis of philosophical deceit and institutionalized violence, each sustaining the other. Neither is alone the cause. Each is both cause and effect. Coercivist governments largely control the mass communication media, directly through administration of public schools, and directly through licensing of radio slash TV stations and intimidation of publishers under tax and regulatory laws. And the controlled communication media, in turn, inculcate attitudes and misinformation in support of institutionalized coercion. Equally important, but not so well recognized, most people accept status propaganda not merely because they are brainwashed, but because they want to believe. They feel powerless to change society or to liberate themselves from it. You can't fight City Hall, and therefore prefer to believe that somehow it is all for the best. And the more despotic the system, the greater their credulity. Most inmates of German concentration camps were pathetically eager to believe the explanations of Nazi administrators against all evidence to the contrary. Most Russians, even more than most Americans, believe that infringements of their liberty are necessary. Opposition, if any, is reserved for details of implementation where change appears possible. One can observe this for himself. Most people encountered are not merely deceived. They want to be deceived and bitterly resent any attempt to demolish their rationalizations of the way things are. Certainly, liberty cannot be achieved society-wide until popular attitudes become compatible with liberty. But the inverse is equally true. Changing popular attitudes is impossible until liberty is realized or at least appears imminent. Together, these lead to the conclusion, a coercivist, philosophic, slash poetico-economic system cannot be radically changed by any means from within. Establishments can and do evolve, but mostly in response to developments external to the system. I suggest that liberation is possible only on the individual level and only by changing attitudes and living patterns together. Refutation of status propaganda and opting out must go hand in hand. To seek self-liberation is not to be anti-intellectual. It is to integrate intellect with reality. To follow thought with action. You've just heard Editorial on Strategy of Cultural Change, originally published in the Winter 1969 edition of Innovator, and authored by Rayo.